I started growing these a while back and I just got the seeds out of a, out of a kiwi fruit I bought from the store. Um, I put them on a damp paper towel in a Ziploc bag and when they sprouted I planted them out into this pot. I wanted to show you my kiwi fruit plants that I grew from seed. Um, these are the ones that I showed you in my last video, the kiwi berry uh, fruit tasting video. And here are a couple more that I started at the same time. Now, these ones here, there's a lot of plants in there. It's getting really crowded and I should have um, transplanted these all quite a long time ago. Um, they are still growing, but yeah, it's getting a bit overcrowded. So today I'm just going to transplant these and we'll check out how the root systems are going as well. So I've just put some newspaper down so I don't lose all the soil into the grass. And let me take these out of their pot. Whoa, big worm! <laughs> oh god. Look at this. That was growing in the pot. <laughs> So I'm just going to go put this guy into my garden. Okay, so anyway, back to my kiwi berries. Let's see how these roots are going. So there's... The roots are holding the soil all together. It's quite root bound in there. See all of the roots? So I'll just carefully break this all apart. Oh look, there's another worm. <laughs> there you go, there's a little guy. <laughs> go put him in my garden too. Look at that. Oh, that feels weird. And I'm back. So, let's break these all apart. This is probably the biggest uh, kiwi berry plant. And look at the root system. Look at all those roots. It's a pretty healthy looking plant if you ask me. So, I'll just get my pot here that I've filled up halfway with soil. So I'll just put that in like so. And then I'll just bury the roots. There we go, that's one transplanted. Let me get another one. Look at that. Another big root system on this plant. Pretty healthy looking plant and yeah, awesome looking roots too. So I've got another pot here which I filled up halfway with soil and I'm just going to place that in like that and then cover it over. I will let you guys know if these suffer from any transplant shock. So we shall see that in the next couple of days if they end up wilting. I'd say these would be fairly hardy but I haven't grown these before so um, we shall see. Look at those roots, it's crazy. Um, these two plants are sort of all stuck together, so I'm just going to put them both in the same pot. Um, I don't want to disturb the roots too much, so another pot half full of soil. Now these were seeds that I just got from a kiwi fruit I bought from the supermarket. So you can do this yourself, um, it's really easy. Um, for these ones I did the Ziploc method um, on the damp paper towel and then I transplanted them when they're at the stage that my kiwi berries are at. Now I didn't try planting them straight into soil but I can imagine that would be just as easy as um, how the kiwi berries did. So there's a couple more, all done. Far out, there's so many plants in here. Let me show you. Three. Here's another big as one. Little one. But, um, oh, there's another worm. Look at that. It's like I've got my own worm farm in that one pot. <laughs> Look at that guy. Ah, he's going crazy. There we go, another one. So let me move on now and I'll just transplant all these smaller ones. Um, you don't need to see that, so I'll show you when I'm done. So these are all my kiwi fruit plants 
and the final step to the transplant is just to give them all a really good water and if you're transplanting on a really sunny day like I am make sure you keep these out of the sun um, just for a little while especially um, because the leaves are wet now I don't want them to get sunburnt so that would be quite likely to happen if I left them in the sun so I'll just go put these guys into the shade now well, that's it from me. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Okay, see ya.